We're really excited about the season. Preseason has gone um, extremely well. Um, ladies have worked. Now that practice is underway, uh, things are looking really good. We've had some of our best practices that we've ever had here um, since we've been um, uh, had our program here at Central Methodist. Um, we've got a great group of ladies that want to get us to the next level. Uh, we've had three third place finishes in our first three seasons here. We've done some good things. We've had some wins. We've been to the national tournament, but we want to get over the top. And this group, uh, I believe, um, believes that they can do that as well as has the ability to do that. Um, I believe it to be all about expectations, um, expecting to win, expecting to be on top of a conference tournament at the end of that, and to expect to go to nationals. Um, if we hold each other accountable to those expectations each and every day with that mentality, we'll reach the next level. Kyra Williams is a uh, senior for us. She's played, she started for three years, um, played a lot even as a freshman. She's been here with us through it all, and I think we're going to rely heavily on her. Um, she's been part of helping me still um, what we want as a program. Being the first four-year player for Coach Arnold has really changed my game a lot. Um, not only has it affected my game, but it's also affected the way I handle things off the court. But since Coach Arnold has started with this program, all we've done is build each year. Um, these following years, I think it'll really help us out that I know what he's expecting and he knows that I know what he's expecting. So having both of us be able to talk to the team will help us reach a common goal of making it to nationals. Taylor Cornelius is a three-year starter inside for us. She's going to have a chance to be one of the most prolific scorers and rebounders uh, in school history here from the post position. Um, this kid continues to get better and thrives and she's put herself in, in just the best shape she's been in I think since she's been here and I think that's going to translate for her. Morgan Vetter, um, honorable mention All-American, hack first team player, hack newcomer of the year. Um, this kid um, is so important for what we want to do offensively, how we space the floor and how we want to get shots up. And uh, 127 threes last year with a 44% uh, shooting clip from out behind the arc. And you can't say enough about what she does and how much pressure she puts on defenses uh, and how much that helps us open up things inside. Uh, senior year, definitely don't want to take a step back, so I'm going to drive more, um, go to the free throw line more, um, all the little things that I need to improve my game um, instead of just shooting threes. Um, our goal is definitely to get a ring. We're also returning to quite other uh, uh, a great group of, of letter winners. Uh, Burgundy Lewis is another long forward that started a lot of games for us last year. Has the potential to really be a great defender, rebounds uh, especially well, and has had some nice games in scoring. Uh, Chelsea Panier uh, will be a senior forward for us, another transfer last year. Um, second on the team in three-point field goals made in league play. Um, and uh, is a chance to really, uh, with some consistent shooting, be a, a, a vital threat for us behind the arc. Um, and is playing really well so far this year, and we're excited about the things that she's going to bring. We've added a few new pieces, people that th we think are really going to help us. Uh, Taylor McDowell from Johnson County Community College, Kansas City area, is a uh, kid that is, uh, she's not just a shooter, but she is a big time shooter. Uh, you put her on the floor with Morgan, and, and I think you don't see a better shooting combo in all of the country. With both of them on the floor and one on each side of the floor, it's going to be really tough for, for defenses to, to kind of pick their poison, which again should help us inside. Um, we also added a, a, a couple freshmen. One freshman we're real excited about is Allison Hines, um, also out of the Kansas City area. And, and um, Al does everything really, really well. This is a balanced guard. She has good length. She can defend. She can handle a little bit. She can get hot from behind the arc. She can defend multiple positions, which is important for us. Um, and she's going to play a lot as a freshman. I think she'll be a big part of, of our success this season. Brianna Walker is a kid that redshirted for us last year. She was out of Rock Valley Community College. She's out of Chicago. And uh, she won back-to-back -back national championships at Rock Valley. Um, this kid's a little bit undersized, but has the best motor of any kid I've ever coached. Um, just raw, dirty, uh, in a good way, gets in, mixes it up, junkyard dog type of play. And uh, we missed that a little bit last year, I thought. I think that uh, her sitting around for a year redshirting, getting used to school, getting used to our system, getting accustomed to it. We're excited about what she's going to bring to the table. We're returning a lot of kids that can play. We've got a, a great influx of kids coming in that we're really excited about. We think we have a great chance, like I said, to get over the top, take the next step as a program, but it's going to be tough. This is a really tough league. Um, the heart of America continues to improve. There were four teams consistently ranked in the top 25 last year. I think there were five teams that won 20 games. Um, 
you know, I think some of the teams that were a little bit down per se still could beat you on a night and are even better this year. So I think that uh, we're going to have our hands full. We have upped our non-conference scheduling. We're opening up with three Division I schools, which will certainly prepare us for the rigors of the season. And then, of course, we're playing Siena Heights in the regular season. We're playing College of the Ozarks. We've got Columbia College on the road. And then, of course, uh, Tabor, Ottawa, two tournament teams there, and some other teams that we think can really challenge us and prepare us for the tough conference uh, slate ahead. One area that this team is lacking a little bit and an area that I have some concern is potentially in a leadership. Most of our best players are inward personalities, uh, which is nothing wrong with that because they're great players and they're great kids, but you know, who's going to grab somebody by their shirt or, or slap somebody on the butt and say, let's go, we got to get this thing done. It's got to come from somebody on the court. And so that's something we're waiting to see who emerges um, as a leader and who can emerge as someone that can, uh, you know, when things aren't necessarily going great, can, can kind of steer the ship uh, in the right direction. You know, something we've talked about as a group, um, as we're trying to take this next step forward as a program, there's that old expression that if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And we want to get better. We want to be better students. We want to be better citizens. We want to be uh, better basketball players. And we want to have a better team. Uh, from the coaching staff on down, we've uh, accepted and we've adopted this mantra of I will. Um, whenever something tough comes by and something tough comes about, we, we just want to say I will. We'll overcome. We'll find a way to get it done. 